RoboFinger with live skin, working prototype robot TeslaBot, Boston Dynamics founder robot Mark Rybert, Cybertruck serial launch and first jet flying motorcycle. Watch all of the most interesting high-tech news in today's one episode. The scientists have been developing a robotic finger covered with live skin, which they say brings us closer to truly humanoid robots. The finger, which has been shown to be capable of healing itself, is positioned by researchers as an achievement that blurs the line between living flesh and machinery. Earlier, scientists created skin grafts, sheets of skin that could be sewn together, for example, in reconstructive surgery. In the last work, the team first immersed the robotic finger into a cylinder filled with a solution of collagen and dermal human fibroblasts. The two main components of which are the connective tissue of the skin. They covered the surface of the robo-paver, acting as a primer for paint and providing a seamless connection for the next layer of human epidermal carotinocyte cells. The video shows the flexation of the finger forward and back caused the appearance of natural wrinkles on the joints of the fingers, and when injured, the artificial skin can self-repair just like in humans. With the help of collagen bandages and, according to scientists, it felt like normal skin. This project is still in progress, but researchers have a problem convincing the rest of the world that a robot with real skin isn't going to be terrifying or disgusting. What do you think? Let us know down below. Elon Musk promised to showcase the Tesla bot in September. Last month, the head of Tesla announced a second AI Day event to be held on August 19th. It was intended to demonstrate the company's achievements in the field of artificial intelligence, but then he rescheduled it, linking it to the development of an operational prototype of a humanoid robot, Optimus. Musk had previously said that the company would focus on developing a robot to show a working prototype by the end of 2022 and put the robot on the assembly line as early as 2023. In the original version of the specifications, the Tesla bot at a height of 173 centimeters and weighing 57 kilograms would have the ability to lift loads up to 68 kilograms and holding even less with outstretched arms at only 4.5 kilograms. The maximum speed of movement should be 8 kilometers per hour. 40 servo motors will be used in the robot design, and the hardware, borrowed from the autopilot features of a Tesla electric vehicles, will allow fast training robots using the proprietary neural network. And do you think this robot will be actually ready in September? Let us know down below. By the way, to launch the electric pickup series Tesla Cybertruck, Musk had to partially sacrifice his futuristic design. Thus, in a new configuration that complies with American legislation, the electric car received ordinary rearview mirrors instead of side cameras and conventional windshield wipers instead of lasers or one giant windshield wiper. From the point of view of US road regulators, the design is more consistent with safety requirements. Also to launch the assembly line of the Cybertruck Tesla recently received a giant foundry designed by the Italian company Idra. The Gigapress weighs over 400 tons and is the largest foundry in the history of the car industry. According to the company, the Cybertruck has an outer shell that provides maximum strength and protection of passengers, starting with an almost impenetrable exoskeleton, each component designed to provide superior strength and durability. From ultra-hard 30-fold cold-rolled stainless steel structural plating to armored Tesla glass, so far, we're waiting for the first real copies of the Cybertruck to hit the streets. The new Jetpack Aviation brand, Mayman Aerospace, introduced its first Speeder P2 jet motorcycle, small but powerful and maneuverable motorcycle that takes off and lands and will be able to accelerate up to 800 km per hour. The Speeder P2 is powered by eight jet engines that run on environmentally friendly aviation fuels, either completely free of CO2 emissions or with minimal CO2 emissions. The house is made of carbon fiber and takes into account the ergonomic position of the pilot, which improves the aerodynamics of the device. But the motorcycle does not need to be driven sitting on it or remotely as the operator. The Speeder P2 can move autonomously. The modular design works to optimize the device for specific applications, cargo transportation, use of police or rescue, and personal transport, and more. The Speeder P2 is known to carry 45 kilograms over a distance of 640 kilometers and at speeds of more than 800 kilometers per hour. 
Mark Reibert, the founder of Boston Dynamics, was once asked, is there a robot that you've always dreamed of doing but haven't tried yet? And he said he always wanted to put a robot on roller skates. Although Boston Dynamics tried to implement this idea in the Hendel robot, it never reached production after several upgrades. So Robotic Systems Lab, ETH Zurich, took this achievement for itself, releasing another video with the animal robot, which moves better and more neatly on wheels than most robots without them. The researchers reported that the robot combines track optimization in offline mode and control with online model prediction, allowing it to master its legs and wheels with each motion it makes. The robot in any situation can find optimal movements taking into account obstacles and its own physical limitations. Path optimization algorithms transform high-level tasks into dynamically possible movements, which are stored in the robot's motion library. Using the library allows algorithms to calculate movements with minimal delay, almost in real time. At the same time, algorithms can generate new trajectories and movements, combine them in an optimally seamless way, and also group them into a single maneuver. You have to admit that the development algorithms are really impressive so far. It remains to find a decent application of the robot. China presented an artificial intelligence capable of predicting the course of a hypersonic rocket in just 15 seconds. The set of algorithms was created by engineers of the Early Warning Academy of the Chinese Air Force. The program can work on a conventional modern laptop. They're estimating the trajectory of the approaching missile and preparing to intercept it three minutes ahead of time. For the second time, NASA has installed its Lunar Mission SLS rocket for its final test. The last one had to be postponed due to a fuel leak. SLS is a key element of the NASA Artemis lunar program. A manned flight to the moon is expected to take place by 2025. The heavy missile was developed for about 10 years with repeated exceeded budgets and deadlines. Now all faults have been eliminated and the agency plans to conduct testing of this unit by the end of this month and by the end of the year to carry out the first unmanned flight SLS. Volocopter conducted the first test flight of a four-seat eVTOL Volo Connect. It lasted 2 minutes and 14 seconds, and during which the machine performed a series of maneuvers. It's reported that the current prototype has all the planned characteristics of a future commercial air taxi. The test should now confirm the reliability and safety of all systems under maximum load and emergency conditions, including engine failure in controlled and autonomous flights. Test of its aero taxi published also by the Chinese developers from AutoFlight. Prosperity 1 will take off and land vertically, go to cruise mode and back, and move horizontally at speeds of more than 180 km per hour. The design of the device is still being developed. For example, the company reported that it's going to improve its efficiency as well as upgrading the configuration of the lift and cruise systems by refining lift screws. And as a result, Prosperity will be able to transport four passengers at 250 km with a cruise speed of 200 km per hour. If AutoFlight can obtain the necessary approvals in China and Europe, commercial operations could start in 2026. Nala Robotics introduced the first chef Pizza Iola, capable of autonomously preparing up to 50 pizzas per hour, which can permanently deprive pizza chefs of work. Pizza Iola is not just a robot, but a self-contained kitchen measuring 3.7 by 3.7 meters, which includes storage areas, cooking areas, an oven, and finally a 7-axis robotic arm that can move around the entire space. Customers can place orders orally through the self-service desk or via a human cashier who electronically transmits orders to the kitchen. In addition, you can also order online, which can be delivered by robot couriers or robot waiters. The robot can offer a choice of four types of dough, four sauces, and 35 fillings. He rolls the dough himself, adds sauce and toppings, cooks it, slices it, and packs the pizza. English supermarkets M&S, Ocado, Tesco, Sainsbury's, and Waitrose sell raspberries assembled by robots. Mass automation is associated with the increasing quality and availability of fieldwork robotic machines. Trials of the first generation of devices started about three years ago. Then, only the manipulator took a whole minute to pick a berry. But since then, the developers have increased the number of manipulators, improved sensors, eliminated the slip of berries, and significantly accelerated the work process. And now, robot sensors detect ripe berries, gently harvest them, spending an hour on one kilogram of raspberries. In the future, the developers plan to disperse the robot up to 25,000 berries per day. Also in the future, the developers plan to increase the number of berries per day. In other agricultural robotic news, 
Grow and Meadow Motion will debut at Green Tech Amsterdam 2022. At the same time, the Meadow Motion will receive two hands instead of one, which will increase robot performance by 80%. The robots are equipped with 3D computer vision based on color cameras supplemented by artificial intelligence. They recognize the ripe fruit and carefully cut the branches with it with the help of manipulators and scissors, rotating at any necessary angle for the right pick. The delivery of pizza by drones is becoming a reality. The American trading giant Walmart, together with DroneUp, launched a service covering 4 million households. To this end, 37 drone ports will be deployed by the end of 2022, and to begin, the drones will deliver light parcels, diapers, batteries, or products, and in telecontrol mode, i.e. under the control of an experienced operator. With this new service, Walmart hopes to beat its main competitor Amazon in terms of order speed. In Beijing, the Jidu Robo One car was introduced and it looks like it came from the future. Jidu is the daughter of Chinese giant Baidu and car company Geely. Robo One has not only a futuristic design but also a significant degree of autonomy. The company states it will cost at least $30,000 and go on sale next year. The interior of the car includes a racing style seat, a boggle steering wheel, and a widescreen display covering the entire dashboard. The car is equipped with sensors, including LiDAR, to display a road in 3D, which is pulled out of the hood when activated. Robo One is a special version of Apollo, an open platform developed by Baidu and several partners that's used by dozens of car manufacturers in China. Jidu claims that their car will be able to drive autonomously on most roads under the supervision of the driver. Interestingly, the computing power that Baidu uses to train autonomous driving algorithms can be compared to the Tesla's own supercomputer to hone its autopilot software. Robo One will make extensive use of voice control in this feature. By the way, Geely recently launched its own satellite to navigate unmanned vehicles. Also, the company plans to use them for commercial purposes. For example, light communication. Only nine Geely satellites are currently in low Earth orbit, but by 2025, the number should have increased to 63, with a total planned launch of 240. A manicure robot debuted at Target stores in Dallas-Fort Worth. Clockwork does not nourish the nails itself and does not cut the cuticle, although it may offer users a file and nail polish remover. The robot itself only paints the nail in any color varnish without formaldehyde or other harmful chemicals. Cameras and algorithms based on artificial intelligence help the robot to determine the size and shape of each person's nail. The whole procedure takes less than 10 minutes and costs from $8 to $10. Hey, while you're here, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and don't miss any new episodes from the world of high tech.